So how many of your patients do you recommend this app to? I recommend it to patients who have multiple nevi or who just have lots of spots that are really difficult to evaluate also as a physician. Skin cancer is on the rise. Catch it early enough and this is how you treat it. A relatively simple procedure under local anaesthetic. Leave it too long and things can get more complicated. By far the most dangerous form of skin cancer is called melanoma. It spreads to other organs fast and that makes early detection all the more important. I'm Guy Henderson in Copenhagen, Denmark, where artificial intelligence is being used to help do just that. It is the depths of winter here, so there's little chance of overexposure to the sun, which is thought to be the prime cause of melanoma. Still, you can't be too careful when it comes to cancer. A trip to doctors like plastic surgeon Inanna Weiss for a good old fashioned checkup remains the only way to confirm or relay a patient's concerns. What are you looking out for? So I'm looking at the structure, at the amount of pigment and if it's regular or irregular. Um, there are certain uh, alarm signals that you look, look for. Uh -huh. I will show you a slide. I actually have a pretty good diagram I can show you that depicts it okay. in a more understandable fashion. So okay. this also, to me, does not look dangerous. Okay. And while I'm at it, I'm looking at the one you have on your earlobe here as well. On your ear. So I'm getting a free yes. checkup now. You are, actually. Perfect so everything looks perfectly fine. Okay, well, that's a relief. But uh, you asked me a question of what to want, what you have to look at. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, if how... you come over here, I actually have a chart, uh, which is generally accessible. And this is what's called the ABCDE of detecting melanoma. So okay. the first row shows normal nevuses, normal birthmarks, normal spots on your body. And you see they're all they're symmetrical, the border is well defined, the color is homogenous, the diameter is rather small, and they're not changing. If you look at the melanoma slides below, you see that this one is asymmetrical, the borders are uneven, it has multiple colors. So remember I said earlier that the pigmentation was homogenous, that it was even? Yes. That's a good thing. Yes. If it's uneven, that's one of the, the things you want to look out for. And now there's a high-tech gadget that can help you keep tabs on them. It's called a mobile phone. So now we have a series of images of his back, as you can see here. And now this is the office of MySkin, a Danish startup whose app can help catch the early signs of the disease. John Fries is the CEO. Basically, this, this, this is an app, it's a patient consumer technology that helps people identify new things on their skin or changes on their skin. Mm -hmm. This is a, one of the feature set is really focused on a close-up image where you can take several images over time to kind of identify if this mole is, is changing or developing in any way. And then we, we have elements where you have a more holistic view of this and where you take uh, photos of your skin areas, of your body parts, and uh, with some of our technology, you can get some support of identifying if new things is coming. 70 to 80% of melanoma skin cancer, which is the most dangerous form, is actually forming as a new mark on your skin and not from an existing mole. That is kind of new science. With each new user, the app becomes a more powerful tool. Basically, we're using these images to train machine learning algorithms so they are able to identify these elements you have on your skin. And you say training, does that mean that they are still in a process of training? At this, stage? This, this is an ongoing process because the more data we get, we can train our algorithms, the better it will be to identify different elements you have on your skin. Unlike many other apps, it does not claim to diagnose. Doctors are saving the life because they identify, they assess the moles, they assess skin cancer, diagnose skin cancer, treat skin cancer. But it's extremely important for the patient to come in and see the doctor in time because there's a very strong correlation with early detection of a change and then early detection of skin cancer and the successful rate of treatment. The MySkin app is the first of its kind that's received some backing from regulators. 
So Dr Weiss is now recommending it to patients. So how many of your patients do you recommend this app to? I recommend it to patients who come for a full body checkup who have multiple nevi, who have what is called dysplastic nevi syndrome or who just have lots of spots that are really difficult to evaluate also as a physician. Health experts see the MySkin app as one of the early steps towards a transformation of the health sector. Mark Wolf specialises in the application of advanced and predictive analytics. We went to see this new app, which is able to at least map the skin for uh, the risk of melanoma. Absolutely. But the stress at this stage is this is not, this is not your doctor. This iPhone no. is not, never going to be a doctor. Um, is it never? Or you know, could, do you envisage a day when your phone, for example, would be able to tell? Absolutely. It is simply a function of the amount of information you can feed the machine to teach it. If, if it sees every possible mole and every possible skin lesion that there is, it will then be able to identify which ones are precancerous, which ones are cancerous, and which ones are benign. It's simply really a matter of numbers. But today, the value is really in a sort of data reduction. Let the computer take a look at everything, eliminate what it's 100% confident about, and then leave the human with just a few to look at. And right there, there's value. It's a more efficient approach. It's a kind of data reduction step. But in the end, yes, machines will become quite powerful at diagnosing. Imagine this, though, a world in which not necessarily diagnosis, but certainly early detection, is taking place the whole time. The sensors are there. It's just the apps that are needed. We're only measured when we're sick. The idea now is to measure us when we're healthy. And if you measure people through sensors, through remote technology, uh, using personal devices like, like a smartwatch or a smartphone, we can build into those devices artificial intelligence that is literally monitoring the person while they're healthy. We can teach AI to find early signals of diabetes, congestive heart failure, uh, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and actually alert the clinician much sooner and intervening sooner will cost less, be of benefit to the patient, and produce much more greater long-term value than simply curing. Prevention is indeed still the best cure. So much ingenuity in that story. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell button below for notifications.